All right, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. These are two great friends of mine, Mike and Lauren Shramko. We're down here in South Florida because we are after a crazy invasive species called the iguana. Yeehaw! Most people think of them as this, just a little tiny little, little, little creature that runs around eating little fruit that you give to them in an aquarium. But that's not what they are. They're little wild creatures that eat everything. They originate down in Central and South America and they have predators down there. Up here, they don't have any predators. But what they do have is all these lush, beautiful gardens in the back of people's homes. And out here, this is an organic bean farm. Well, guess what? They've caused thousands, if not millions of dollars of damage. But we've come to enforce the law. So we're shooting these little 30 caliber ballistic tips out of this thing. I've never done an air rifle hunt before. Lock, cock, ready to rock. Iguanas, here we come. This place used to be loaded with burning animals all in the canal banks, and the iguanas come in and make their dens and take them over and kick them out. So that's a whole nother issue. That's yeah. Going on. And for those of you who don't know, a burrowing owl is actually in, an endangered species. It's a native endangered species. So these invasive species are coming in, eating all the, all the crops, all the local vegetation, but more importantly, they're, they're stealing the homes of endangered burrowing owls. So today, our mission is save the owl. It looked like a green one. That thing's like a dinosaur, bro. Nice shot. Got him. That was a good shot. That's how you want him. Hey. They say an adult iguana like that could eat over a hundred pounds of bean in just one year. Do that math. It's incredible. Nice shot. It's good. That's the best eating size right yeah. there. Yeah. Medium. These do much damage to the beans. Those, they'll wipe out one that size, will wipe out 100 yards in a week. If you were to come out here early June, July, you'd hear this crunch like this. This crunch, and it almost feels like thunder when they come running across. I mean, how many on a field like this? Oh, you'll see two, 3,000 on a good hot summer night. Yeah. I feel like we need bigger ammunition. Yeah. We've got a pointer shotgun and some Kent Fast deal. We could wreck these rascals. It's worth a try. Look, there's half of one. They missed one. Are these the flowers you were talking about? Yep. So that's what they smell. They smell the flowers. They come in looking for that. And then once they eat that, obviously, there's no, you know, no place for the fruit. Now here's some nice looking beans that'll be demolished in a week if you don't eradicate these things. I mean, you saw the damage they do in the, the outer blocks and they're just working their way into the middle. So basically they're like total, look at this. It's like perfect camouflage. They have like that yeah. green. Oh, they're here right now. You yeah. just can't see them. And there's nothing to eat them. There's no predators. Oh, puppies. They have an iguana in their mouth. Lauren, come here. Look at that. Big snakehead fish in his mouth. Those are invasive too. Come here. Whoa, dude, that is a lunker. Lunker of a, an iguana. You know how much damage one of those things can do? I'm gonna have to jump jump in and cross the ditch though. Lauren, keep your eyes peeled on the back of that hill if you see any move. We're gonna need to get them. Is the water warm? 
There's bubbles behind you. Looks like it's warm behind him. Well, that's a good one. Nice job. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Big old male. That's a breeder. Look at that. That's what does all the damage down here. Non-native, invasive, omnivore. When you walked these canals years ago, you'd see tons of little ducks, um, wading birds, turtles, all kinds of things. These guys destroy it. They go in, they eat the eggs, they eat all the local foliage. They have no natural predators until we arrived. All right, y'all, there he is. There's T-Rex. First time I've ever gone on a green iguana hunt, which makes this the first time I've ever tried to clean a green iguana. But I'm gonna do it just like I would an alligator for the most part. Um, if, I can, if I can skin him out and it comes out nice, I'm gonna try to have the hide tanned. This doesn't really come apart that well, so I don't know how I'm gonna split it. Maybe if I just peel it. Ooh, that works. That works. We're getting somewhere, y'all. We are getting somewhere. I can just peel this whole skin right there. All the scales are running this way, so I want my knife to go that same way. Now, once I get down into this part, it, it's much more like a alligator tail to me. I feel much more at home doing this. Feels like there's a lot of meat in that jaw area. I think the key to doing this right is marking him out properly, which is what I'm trying to do right now. We're getting somewhere now, boys. Come on. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. I just broke my hide. No. I was so nailing this thing. Look at that, y'all. That's an iguana hide. I thought I had it. But I was wrong. Pretty cool looking iguana hide, if you ask me. All right, y'all. Try this stuff off and I'll show you what we're working with. I took the tail and I cut the tail into like pieces that are manageable. Now, once it's all dried off, we're gonna season it up. Everglades, original and cactus dust. Got some oak wood in there, nice and hot. Throw all of the meat right inside there. Cover it up. 
make sure our baffle, yeah, that's about perfect, about halfway. Now that will just sit there and wrap the heat and the smoke and the flavor around that meat, cook it down nice. Two good things going on here. I've got food and I'm starving hungry right now, so let's see what we got. Ooh, looks nice. I'm gonna go with the leg and a piece of that tail. Mmm. The flavor's good. I just turned it into jerky. I thought it was gonna take a lot longer to cook. We went and put out a feeder and did a couple things. Mm. But, oh, the tail looks nice and juicy. Mm. Mm. Mike and Lauren, thank you so much for taking us down on this hunt, but we're gonna have to replay it. We're gonna have to do it again because as good as this tastes, I want to cook it better. Mm. That's three less iguanas eating the beans off those guys' fields. That's always a win. So look, you guys, I appreciate you watching. Appreciate you being a part of this. I got lots to do today, y'all. So for now, I'm gone.